Hey, hey, it's Starfish of Fire, and I'm back with another hot sauce review. All right, today I'm excited. I've got two sauces here. One green verde type sauce, peppercini based, and this one is a new one from Cajun's Wild Mushroom. Look at that. So, yes, both of these look tasty, more along the lines of a flavor than heat, but let's check it out. So we're going to start with this one here. This one is hot and saucy garlic and pepperoncini. As you can see, it's a very like bright green, almost neon, uh, cool looking label, subtle. And um, let's check out the ingredients here. Um, it says here we are, here we go. We're going to start with the flavors coming through with pepperoncini, water, salt, vinegar, citric acid, cilantro, honey, sugar, and garlic. All right, so this should be pretty simple, but it should be pretty tasty. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If this one has a quick release, looks like it does. Now this looks like a light to mild body, a medium body. Okay. First, let's see how it pours. Well, first, let's get a little aroma. Yep, pepperoncinis and garlic. Okay. See how we do here. Oh yeah, it's a real light sauce. Let's see how this tastes. This is a starfish of fire. Mmm. Wow. Sweetness right off the front. Okay, so that honey is actually coming through more than anything. Mmm. Wow. Okay. So this one, I could drink this out of the bottle. I'm not going to do that now because I want other people to be able to try it. Very sweet. The honey is... Mmm. Man, that is good. That is real good. And just a slight bit of heat. I'm going to put the heat at a 1. It's got the flavor of heat. It might be pushing a 2 because there's a little bit of action on the back of the tongue. But let me tell you something. I love pepperoncinis. You're great on pizzas, Greek pizzas, you name it, uh, Italian food in general. But they come through in this, blended with the honey and the garlic, such a wonderful way. Um, I could see this actually be used as a salad dressing. In fact, it might be what I'm doing today. Okay, so this is hot and saucy, hot and saucy garlic and pepperoncini. Wonderful sauce. Check it out. That is good stuff. Okay. On to Wild Mushroom Hot Sauce by Cajuns. Now, I've done Cajuns before in the past. They make great sauces. They've got quite a selection. And this is a new sauce they've come out with recently. And I love mushrooms in general. So, I thought I'd give this a go. The only other one I've had that was mushroom-based, you might remember I did a uh, review of um, Hurtberry Farms from Canada. They had one that had five hot super hot peppers and five different exotic mushrooms and it was wonderful good heat high heat but the the flavor of the mushrooms came through now this one here let's see what we're working with here ingredient wise okay all right so we've got wow this is uh let's get a little bit more light on this shall we Okay, vegetable stock. Okay, interesting. Uh, vegetable stock has tomato paste. There's lemon juice, celery stock, sea salt, roasted garlic powder, 
onion powder, celery powder. So this is all in the vegetable stock. Then you've got red wine vinegar, uh, soy sauce, interesting, red pepper, salt, well it's roasted red pepper and salt, chipotle pepper, garlic vinegar, onion, uh, let's see, cayenne pepper, wild mushroom powder, red, what is this, miso paste, okay, culture rice, rice, okay, soybeans, more chipotle pepper, pepper powder, so this might be more of a mild sauce, but let's check it out, it's got a wonderful texture, as far as the looks of the color, and thickness looks pretty good, let's see, okay, we're going to cut this one loose, Oh yeah, earthy flavors, or aromas, soy sauce is coming through, let's see what this is like, medium body, I like that so far, alright, let's check this out, ooh, umami, definitely umami, savory, earthy, the soy sauce is coming through, you can definitely taste the mushrooms though. Mmm. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do with this. And this has got a decent heat to it. Not overwhelming by any means. Very earthy flavor. I'm going to be doing a mushroom and Swiss burger. And this is going to be right on top of it. A wonderful sauce. And the heat is starting to rise a little bit. I'm going to say the heat level on this one. I'm going to say it's between a 2 and a 3. It's pushing a 3. So it's just kind of riding there. Between a 2 and a 3 I guess. Decent heat. But again, even non-chili heads are going to enjoy both of these. Um, this one's got a little bit more heat, but it's nothing that's uh, going to ruin your day. Highly recommend both of them. Um, I'm not familiar with this company. I'm going to be checking out more of their sauces, hot and saucy. Uh, Cajuns make wonderful sauces. And this is a good addition to their lineup. So, check it out. And this is Starfish of Fire. I'll be back again soon with some uh, more challenges. I know you guys look forward to that. I've got the new Solar Flare. I've got the Death Nut 3.0. I still have the Chocolate Chili Nightmare to do. All, um, I think, pretty much are going to uh, wreck my day, but it'll be fun. And I think I'm going to do something a little different. I, I think I found some somebody to volunteer to do the Solar Flare and or the Death Nut 3.0 with me. So uh, I'll have a guest on my show for one time, and uh, we'll do some challenges. But in the meantime, I'll be back with more reviews. As you can see, i still got plenty of sauces I'm working on, and I just made a bunch of room in my refrigerator. So we're going to be doing more sauces soon, but check these out. Hot and, si hot and saucy garlic and pepperoncini, and Cajun's wild mushroom sauce. Good stuff. All right, this is Starfish of Fire, and I'm out.